Savannah Cat vs. Toyger Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Savannahs come in several different colors and patterns, black, brown, or black spotted tabby, black silver spotted tabby, and black smoke. Most have solid black or dark brown spots on golden, cream, sandy, or white backgrounds. They stand out for their bold, solid markings, which can be round, oval, or elongated. Some savannas have what's called a marble pattern, in which the spots resemble an elongated bullseye. Because domestic short hairs figured in their ancestry, some savannas come in colors and patterns that aren't described in the breed standard, including chocolate, cinnamon, blue, red, and color point. The savannas triangular head is supported by a long neck and topped by large, white ears. The medium size eyes can be any color. Nose leather ranges from pink to black, but black savannas must have solid black nose leather. A savanna has a medium length tail. If she were an athlete, the tall and lean savanna would be heavily recruited by all the best basketball teams. The main color of the Toyger's coat is orange or tan with darker vertical stripes. These distinctive stripes can either be broken or they might branch off. The mixed breed is relatively low maintenance when it comes to grooming, with their denser coat only really needing to be brushed once a week. Although, as with all cats, keep a close eye out for any mats that might be starting to develop while you're grooming. Remember, regular brushing will help keep the cat's coat clean and healthy. When it comes to climate, the Toyger is generally seen as an adaptable cat who can usually live happily in most climates, just remember to always make sure adequate shade and fresh water is provided when the temperature spikes. If you want to live with a sweet, quiet lap cat, don't get a savanna. This is an active, adventurous feline who enjoys life in the fast lane. Her athletic body allows her to jump to very high places, and her questing spirit leads her to take well to walks on a leash, seek out water to play in, and thoroughly explore her surroundings. This is a confident, alert, curious, and friendly cat. While some cats are retiring sorts, most savannas are gracious hosts who will greet your guests with aplomb, as well as close companions who will want to spend time interacting with you. Be sure you have a well-developed sense of humor if you live with one of these cats, they are not above playing jokes on you. It takes a highly intelligent person to outwit a savanna. You may need to switch faucet styles to prevent them from turning on their own private waterworks or attach child-proof locks to keep them out of cabinets. Don't forget to protect breakables, put them away where the savanna can't knock them over as she makes one of her famous leaps, and ensure electrical cords are protected from gnawing kittens. Provide savanna with toys that will stand up to rough play and interactive games that will challenge her mind. To live happily with savanna, plan to spend plenty of time interacting with her. Be sure she has interesting toys to occupy her when you're not around. Reward her when she does things you like, and redirect her energy and interests when she does things you don't like. Protect special belongings by putting them out of reach. If all of this sounds like too much work, choose a different cat. When it comes to personality, the Toyger is one of the most affectionate and loving cats around. While they have a striking big cat appearance, this is a mixed breed that will love to cuddle up with you for snuggles while you relax on the couch. Befitting such a social cat, the Toyger enjoys human company and having people around this is a cat who thrives in a busy household rather than one where they're left alone for long periods of time. The Toyger is also a super smart cat who can be trained relatively easily, and the breed is often renowned for taking to outdoor adventures on a safety leash and harness. In fact, in many cases, pet owners have trained their Toyger to play games of fetch. Unlike many other cat breeds, the Toyger is also said to enjoy playing with water, just like big cat tigers in the wild. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Brush a savanna short to medium length coat once or twice a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. It's a good idea to provide a savanna with a large outdoor enclosure or to keep her as an indoor-only cat to prevent diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Savannas who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have a unique and beautiful cat without paying for it. Be aware some cities or states have laws against keeping hybrid or exotic animals. While the cats registered with Tika are considered fully domestic, a first or second generation savanna, meaning one who has a serval as a parent or grandparent, may face restrictions. Check the laws in your area before purchasing any savanna that could fall under laws governing hybrids. Check the hybrid law for more information. 
The Toyger is a smart, athletic, and intelligent cat so you'll need to ensure that the mixed breed is kept physically and mentally stimulated. A cat tree or access to furniture they can safely climb up is a must. It's also advisable to provide interactive smart toys that will keep the feline sharp and satisfied. If you consider bringing your Toyger outside, make sure that you use a safety leash and harness and supervise all outdoor sessions. Along with scheduling yearly wellness vet visits, your Toyger will need their nails checked on a regular basis and clipped around once a week. You'll also want to examine the cat's ears for signs of dirt building up or possible infection and clean them if needed. Your vet can help show you the best practice for this. Also, make sure to speak to your regular vet about starting teeth brushing regimen for your Toyger. The Active and Social Savanna is a good choice for families with older children and cat-friendly dogs. She likes to play, learns tricks easily, is often willing to walk on a leash, and appreciates the attention she receives from children who treat her politely and with respect. If you are away during the day, it's probably a good idea to provide your savanna with a companion, another savanna, another cat breed, or even a dog. Most savannas get along well with dogs, especially if they were raised with them. Otherwise, a period of adjustment may be necessary for both savanna and the dog. Introduce them gradually, and ensure they are both always under control until you are sure that they have come to an amicable understanding. With other cats, savannas do best with breeds who either have a similar personality and activity level, such as Abyssinians, Siamese, or Oriental Shorthairs, or more laid-back cats such as Maine Coons, Ragdolls, or domestic Shorthairs who will just yawn good-naturedly as they watch the savanna swing on the chandelier. Some pets aren't safe in the presence of this stealthy cat. Think twice about getting a savanna if you have pet birds, pocket pets such as hamsters, mice, guinea pigs, or rats, or an aquarium full of fish. The savanna is a very fine hunter and can probably get past any safeguards that you attempt to put up. The toyger is a great match with kids. The cat will form strong bonds with the children in your household and become like a new play pal for them. Just be sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides and supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the toyger is also usually fine around other domestic animals. Although you'll want to make sure you oversee early interactions when introducing the cat to your household. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this mixed breed. Make sure to reward your toyger for good behavior and adhere to a proper training regimen when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.